Hey, student success. Welcome to week five of the semester. So when we scroll on down, please make sure you take time to take a look at your chapter 12 lecture video, since that is the chapter that associates with our week. So I'm going to go ahead and jump in. As I mentioned just now, we are in chapter 12. And you can see there is a little host of assignments here. So there are four assignments this week. I know that kind of sounds like a lot, but these two in particular are fairly quick. So just kind of keep that in mind. So as usual, there is a discussion forum. So you want to make sure you post your original response by Wednesday for week five attendance and then respond to two classmates by Sunday. So let's go ahead and jump into our assignment folder and take a look. So the first two assignments, I'm going to recommend doing these first. Obviously, one of them is the discussion forum, so that is due sooner. But in order to complete the discussion forum, you have to do this assignment right here. So the prompt for the discussion forum is based off of the information that you gather in this assignment. So when you click on this assignment, it's going to open up into one of these. Here we go. Moving, talking. Let me try this. There we go. And hit play. Um, it's easy, easy to, to find, find out, out what to agree. We're going to walk through here. And you can certainly click on information in here. I'm going to show you where to go as well. Like it says, click here to visit Career Coach. So as you keep clicking, you can watch these videos eventually you're going to get to these screens right here. So you can see here it says um, choice one and then when you're done with choice one you're going to get choice two. So here's what you can do. You're going to choose two degrees and so if you already have a very set declared major that's obviously going to be your choice number one. Whatever degree you're going toward choice number one is what you're going to use for that for that your degree. If you are kind of stuck between majors or you're undecided um, or maybe you're thinking of switching majors this is a chance for you to kind of explore around a little bit so you can look you know I want, I want to go into education but I'm also thinking about physical therapy um, so you can kind of play around with your choices for choice two if you are completely set on your degree choice two can be something that is kind of connected to your major for instance like physical therapy you can look at occupational therapy or it can just be something like hey this sounds fun like culinary or something like that so it kind of depends on where you are and how set you are in your major on what choice one and choice two are going to look like. Regardless, here's where you're going to get the information. So first, this first part right here, you're going to go to the Stark State homepage and under academics, you're going to see all the career communities. So if you are, I'm just going to use physical uh, therapy as my example, but you can kind of see where your degree would fall in. If I am looking at physical therapy, I'm going to go into health. Once you get into your community, all these pages are going to look very similar, whether it says education, business, you know, health. It's going to give you some general information, contacts, who, you know, the, the skills and the quick links and things of like that, other connected careers. You're going to scroll all the way down and then you can see the very specific degrees. So I'm going to go ahead and click on physical therapy assistant right here. Now this is going to get to the page that is specific just to me as a PTA major. Again, this is going to give some kind of related information, contacts, overview. I'm going to go ahead and click on courses and I'm going to click on either full-time or part-time. has the same information, just different like suggestions on the order in which to take it. I'm going to say, you know, just full-time. It's going to open up into a PDF. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead and take a look here. Maybe there we go. And my division is listed right here, health and public services. So I would just click in right there, health public services. My degree is the Associate of Applied Science. My major is Physical Therapy Assistant. And then the program requirements. Okay, so I do not need to write down everything. There's a lot of information here. For program requirements, I'm going to write down something like, you know, 67 credits. And then there's footnotes down here. I have to have a C in all technical and non-technical courses. I also have to apply to the program. So that's what I would write down for my program requirements. You know, if there's a GPA, um, the number of credits, if there's an application, that kind of thing is what I'm writing down right here. Not every single little detail. Okay, so that is what you are writing in this top part and you find that information at the top of this page. And I got there from going to the homepage under academics. I chose my career community, the very general career community. I scrolled down, found my specific degree, clicked on courses, and opened up that PDF. 
Now for the second part, I'm going to go, I can go right back here, home page. I can just scroll down and I'm going to click on career coach. We're going to see this in a future week as well. So this is not the first and only time we're going to see this and maybe some of you have already seen it. I'm going to go to browse careers. Click. I'm just going to stick with physical therapy and I'm going to get back a result that's connected here at the college. I'm going to click into physical therapy assistant. Now on this bottom part, it wants to know the job career. So again, I would click physical therapy assistant. Average salary, well, it tells me that right away. First thing I can see. It wants to know the job postings. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to live job postings. You can see all the people who are currently looking for people in this field. You do not have to write down every single one of these. Maybe choose the first like one or two. You know, Reliant, Rehabilitation, or Maurice's. You know, just choose the first couple and put those in the job postings and then qualifications. So I'm gonna go up here, I'm gonna to go to the about and I'm gonna kind of look, start looking through here and I'm gonna to look to see, okay, what do I have to do? I need to have, okay, my bachelor's degree, maybe you know, depending on the person who's hiring, ah, here's a lot of the skills. I need to know physical therapy, rehab, I need to be computer literate, I need to have writing and research skills. So that's where you would go to look for the qualifications. So that is what you're doing for choice one. And then when you hit submit, choice two will pop up. And that's where I say you can look to see, you know, for a similar career. If you're thinking about switching majors, if you're not sure what major you want to do, this is a good time to explore and find out information. All right. Once you finish that, I'm going to go ahead and close out of there so I can get back in here. Then I'm going to be able to answer my discussion post. So my discussion post says discuss your findings from the assignment, meaning this assignment right here. Which majors did you choose? So, you know, I chose physical therapy and occupational therapy, or I chose business management and, you know, information technology, whatever, whatever it is you selected. What did you find interesting? What was surprising? What was neat? Anything like that. You're just going to kind of reflect on your findings from this assignment right above. Okay. And that's what you're going to post by Wednesday for your week five attendance points. And then respond to two classmates by Sunday. All right. After you finish those two, back in the assignment folder, these two go together very nicely. So the first thing is your map assignment. So for this, I'm going to recommend, and I'm gonna plug this in here so you can see it as well, using Firefox. Firefox, for whatever reason, works best with this assignment. Um, there are plenty of times where I get people who do not use Firefox and I just cannot open the, the attachment. Um, I will also let you know if you're using a Chromebook or a map, it's probably not gonna work either. Um, you're gonna to have to rely on screenshots versus downloading a PDF. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into Firefox. I'm going to go into my Stark state. From my Stark state, I'm going to just under tools, under general, click on map, and it is going to open up your My Academic Plan page. And this is a great advising tool. I'm using um, a student who graduated years ago who gave me permission, it's actually my brother, um, to use this to be able to demonstrate. You can see on yours, you're going to have things to click on because you're not done yet. And it's going to tell you all the courses that you have to take, that you're currently taking, that you've already completed. And it's a nice way to kind of check and see your progress. It'll tell you what your degree progress is, your GPA. What you're going to do for the purposes of our assignment is you're going to download a PDF of this form. So you're going to go over here to the print. You're going to open the PDF. And it's going to open up into a more kind of a readable PDF. Here we go. I'm going to click print again. I'm going to just make sure I'm saving it as a PDF. I'm going to put it on my desktop. I'm just going to you know, map page. Now here is where if you are in or using a Chromebook or a MacBook, I would recommend just taking screenshots because Again, whatever reason, Chromebooks and Macs do not always communicate with Blackboard and it becomes frustrating for you know students and, and it gives us all headaches. So make sure that if you're using a Chrome or a Mac to go ahead and just take screenshots. And if you're not using either of those two things, just make sure you're using Firefox because that's going to be the easiest, most friendly way to do this. All right, so I've saved it. I'm going to go into the actual Dropbox here, find it, and there it is. Hit open. All right, and then submit it. That's my map page. Now this right here is going to be a Word doc that's going to open up and most of the information is going to come right from your map page. So that's why I say these work really well together. So you can see it wants to know what degree is listed in your profile. So I'm just gonna you know, take a look at my map page and it says my degree right there, Associate of Applied Business. So that's what I would type in right here. 
what major is listed in your profile. So my major is business management. It's right there. Or I could be looking at this page right here too. It's going to be pretty much the same. So that's what I would write in here. What is your catalog year? So your catalog year for most of you is going to be like 2022 to 2023, maybe 21 to 22. Like when you are looking at your sheet right here, you can see like catalog year. And obviously this is again an older one. So you wanna just look to see what your catalog year is. And then it wants to know your profile or your academic advisor. This is actually not your map page any longer. It used to be, I'm not sure why it's there, but back in my Sark state, if you go to your dashboard and you scroll down, you're gonna see academic profile. I obviously do not have an advisor, but that's where yours is going to be. So you're gonna find your advisor name right there under academic profile, type that in right there. Save this as a Word doc, Let's go back into your Blackboard and submit that. All right, so that is what you're doing for week five this week. So you're going to be taking the um, Educational Pathways to a Career Assignment, plugging in the information that you find from Career Coach and from your degree plan. Use that information to post your original response for your discussion form by Wednesday for week five attendance, and then complete your MAP assignment and your Program Advisor assignment. If you have any questions, please let me know. Um, I will let you know in the grading area if something does not come up, if, if I'm not able to view it. So just make sure you check your grades and check to make sure that I'm able to receive and download everything. All right, have a great week.